everyone and welcome to my second Christmas festive related recipe video. Today it is mulled wine, so something for the, I was going to say the elderly, but it's not. It's for anybody who likes mulled wine really, just not children not children. It's a really simple recipe, it's a Jamie Oliver recipe which you can find online. I will leave a link to it below if I can find it again because I actually printed it off last year so I'm sure it will still be there. But I really, I trust Jamie Oliver, I trust his recipes, I've got numerous amounts of his books and I just think that it's really good mulled wine. What you will need for the mulled wine is, now Jamie says two clementines, I have one orange, I'm gonna hope that, that this is okay, one lime, you also need one lemon, but I was away for a few days and when my mum was looking after the cats, the lemon that I left in the fruit bowl went a bit mouldy, so she threw it away. So I'm gonna be using two limes today instead of a lime and a lemon. 200 grams of caster sugar, six whole cloves, one stick of cinnamon, three fresh bay leaves. I know that, that these are kind of dried, but they're all I have. One whole nutmeg for grating. One vanilla pod, halved lengthways. Now it also says two star anise, but I really hate the flavour of star anise. So if you like star anise, pop them in. If you don't, leave them out. Doesn't really make much of a difference in my mind. And then you want two bottles of pretty cheap red wine because someone's drunk out of this. There, there was a good amount out of this bottle. Niles, was it you? Have you started drinking again? Oh. But yes, the wine really doesn't have to be expensive because ultimately it's gonna bubble up and get the flavor of everything else. So let's show you what to do. You need to get a big kind of casserole bowl -y thing like this or just a big saucepan, something that you can leave for a while. So first what you need to do is you need to peel your clementine slash orange, lemon and lime into the bowl. You then need to pop in your 200 grams of caster sugar. Aha! You then need to add the juice of your clementine slash orange into this as well. So chop your orange in half slash clementine, squeeze out the juice, squeeze. And then add the juice to this pot as well. Nice. So now you need to add your spices into this little bowl, which is currently just peel, sugar, and juice. And at this point, you should also put it over a medium heat, but because of the sake of me showing you what to do, I'm just adding everything in, and then I will put it on a medium heat, because that's the way it's gonna go. So we want six whole cloves. So for that, I'm going to unscrew it. This is gonna take me for life to go through. It really is. You then need your one stick of cinnamon. So pop the whole stick in, whole, like this, don't break it, just put it in, leave it to do its magic. You then need to grate your whole nutmeg in. And my mum got me this last, last year for Christmas. Nutmeg graters and nutmegs. Came with its own little nutmeg grater. It's amazing. So if you don't have a posh nutmeg grater like me, you can just use your normal cheese grater and, and just, just need to scratch away at it. I must say, I'm wearing this hat because it's festive. It's so hot, I am expiring a little bit under this hat. Next, you need to get your vanilla pod. Now, these are super expensive. Ugh, and also really hard to get out of the tin. So, oh, from Sainsbury's, you get two, and I think this was four pounds. You then need to just slice down the middle so that you can get one of your vanilla pods out. Ha ha. Just so everybody knows, this surface is clean. I am a clean person, I detailed it, I washed it, it's fine. So then put your vanilla pod on your surface and with a knife you then just need to split down the middle but you just need to have it so that it is in half like this. Pop it in your mulled wine. I've now got loads of vanilla seeds under my fingernails which I'm gonna have to waste. So the last thing I have to add to this is my three bay leaves of which I have several. So let's go for that one, that one, and that one. So now that we have everything in there that you need, spices and fruit wise, you then need to add a little bit of your red wine, just enough to cover the sugar, so not a lot at all. So I'm going to do just about that much. So there we are, you can see inside, it's 
covering the sugar and then what you need to do is pop this on the medium heat it should have already been on the medium heat from the sugar but I've done it this way which is fine and so this is now going onto the medium heat so that the sugar can dissolve once the sugar has completely dissolved into the wine you need to then leave this to boil for about five minutes until it's created a very thick syrup and this is just a really good base for the rest of your mulled wine once your mulled wine has been boiling for at least five minutes and it's gone a little bit thicker in consistency, a kind of sugary syrup, this is then when you can add the rest of your red wine. Do this a little bit at a time, depending on how many people you're feeding mulled wine to. But then what you need to do, you just then need to leave it for about five minutes for the wine to get to a nice warm temperature and to soak up all the flavour. And then your mulled wine is ready to go. So there we have it. This is your mulled wine. I've got lots of little bits in there, so be careful not to swallow any cloves, a bit of peel or cinnamon stick if you're really that special. I have got some mince pies because I found some cutters, so I made some proper mince pies the other day. Leave your mulled wine on the heat, just gently simmering throughout the evening if you're having it in an evening or, you know, in the morning, depending on just how well your day's going. Have a lovely Christmas in case I don't see you again before. I might do, I just don't know, so I'm going to say it now just so that I'm prepared for all eventualities. Without further ado, I'm going to eat a bit of a mince pie. Drink me mulled wine. Bye. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Cool.